Welcome to the Finding Work series. Targeting your CV and cover letter is about focusing your CV and cover letter to an application. This is not going to be about the structure, layout and format of CVs. So what are we covering? We will do a very quick overview of CV and cover letter basics. We will unpack what exactly writing targeted applications actually mean and how to go about targeting your CV and your cover letter to a specific application. Touching on the basics is important as you will need to know how to first create a generic CV with a professional structure, format and include relevant headings before you can think about targeting your CV to a particular role or post. There are some great resources on our UCT Careers website. Please refer to our CV resources, particularly the mini-series Own Your CV, episodes 1 through to 6. Check out our cover letter resource as well. Before we look at what does writing targeted applications actually mean, it is important to understand why you would need to target your CV and cover letter. Targeting your application increases the chance of it getting noticed as you compete with many others. This in turn increases your chances of being shortlisted for an interview so that eventually you are successful with regards to either finding employment or being awarded funding or receiving an offer for postgraduate studies. Let's focus on what does writing targeted applications mean. It means not using the same CV and cover letter for each and every application that you submit. It means that you only present and highlight the relevant parts of your CV that align with the post. That means that even though you have many skills to offer, you will only articulate the skills the organization is interested in. It means that you use the same or similar words as the advert. It means that you research the company and the role to get a better sense about who they are. It also means that you understand the type of candidate needed in terms of the duties and skills by reading the advert carefully. Let's focus on how to target your CV. In order to illustrate this, we have used an advert that is intentionally a non-discipline specific role. Once you understand how to target this application, you can do it for any application, so even postgraduate studies or bursaries or for a discipline specific job. Let's take time to read the details. Take note of the underlined words as they relate to responsibilities, activities and skills required to fulfill the job. The advert was placed by Procter & Gamble, a fast goods and consumer company. As a sales manager, you will be part of a customer team in which trust, team spirit, real passion for winning and leadership are very important. Your responsibilities are developing and maintaining a productive long-term relationship with your customer, negotiating contracts, promo plans and innovations, preparing volume forecast and plans, collaborating very closely with teams from other departments, resolving any issues and problems of your clients and acting as a link between your customer and the internal teams. Qualifications include fresh graduates with a bachelor's or master's degree and nor to one year of work experience, born leaders and are passionate to make things happen, collaborating well with diverse groups of people, have an external focus and a real passion for sales or marketing, like to bring creativity and innovation to your work strong analytical thinking and skills. Look at the summary of skills and activities on the right hand side. Throughout the how to sections of this presentation, we will be referring to these. Before we can even start targeting your CV, you need to know that there are general CV headings. These headings include a personal profile, 
your education, your work experience, extracurricular activities and or achievements, leadership roles, volunteering roles, your skills and referees. The personal profile, work experience and skills sections are the parts of your CV where you can target it to the specific advert. Let's start by targeting your personal profile. A profile should be a summary of your experiences, involvement and achievements. Showcase your suitability for the opportunity in a succinct way. Highlight your best points in relation to what you're applying for. Write only about three to four sentences. Here is an example of a personal profile. Take note of the writing style and of the highlighted words as they are directly linked to the advert. Graduate with a Bachelor of Social Science in Politics and Governance from the University of Cape Town. Passionate about being challenged to find solutions with a great interest in building relationships. Experience as Marketing Portfolio Committee Member for Social Science Student Council. Developed leadership and collaborative skills in the last three years from residents and faculty leadership roles. Put yourself in the role as a recruiter. Would you be interested to continue reading the CV? Before looking at how to target the work experience and skills sections, let's focus on the activities and skills from the advert. Activities include developing relationships, preparing forecasts and plans, collaborating with teams, resolving issues or problems, Skills needed for the job include teamwork, leadership skills, interpersonal skills, negotiation and collaboration, problem solving, creativity, innovation and analytical thinking. This is an invitation for you to reflect and evaluate your experiences and skills. What activities have you been involved in that are similar? What skills do you have to offer? What evidence do you have to support this? To answer these questions holistically, think about all your experiences that come from all aspects of your life, not only your degree. Extracurricular activities like sport, or taking up student positions in res, or doing VAC work, or even volunteering activities you may have been involved in. From all these experiences, think about the skills you may have developed and how you would articulate the evidence for these skills on your CV. With your work experience section, use action words to describe your duties or experience. Identify the experience and skills that show your suitability for the role. This means you highlight the same or similar experiences that align with the advert. Brainstorm times you have done those things well and provide metrics where possible. Let's look at some examples of work experience that are directly linked to the role being advertised. Take note of the highlighted words. Marketing Portfolio Committee Member. Amplified student engagement with council through implementing social media campaign that directly resulted in a 22% increase in attendance of events. Collaboratively worked with council members to find solutions for students who felt misinformed about the world of work resulting in implementation of alumni mentor program. Head tutor, led a team of 12 tutors to actively seek out ways to engage more effectively with students in the online space. Data showed a 33% increase in student engagement. Have you noticed how the highlighted words are directly aligned to the advert? In your skills section, you will need to take time to truly understand the definition of a particular skill. Check out identifying skills on our website or do an internet search to better understand a skill. Identify and highlight your skills that show your suitability for the role. This means that your skill directly or indirectly relates to the advert. Brainstorm times you have done those things well. Provide metrics where possible. Using action words for your skills section is really important to allow your CV to stand out above the rest. Rather than use words like participated in, or responsible for, or took part in, or assisted, use words like expedited,
planned, headed, designed, as it gives a far clearer description of what was involved. Here are some examples of how to present skills that are directly aligned to the job. Teamwork. As Residents Executive Committee of Lisbeth Gardens collaboratively wrote a proposal that secured three-year funding for free meals during exams for students. Interpersonal skills. Through being a student council or committee member, a tutor, and working on various academic group assignments, developed meaningful relationships with students from diverse backgrounds that enabled positive outcomes. Creativity, ideation, design, and implementation of successful marketing campaign for marketing portfolio role. What about targeting your cover letter? As mentioned previously, look at our cover letter resource on the Careers UCT website to know the expected format, structure, and the expected content per paragraph. In your second paragraph, explain why you are interested in the position and organization. This is where you showcase the research you have done about Procter & Gamble, as well as the research you have done about sales management. Try to connect yourself to the above research. This means that any statement that you make needs to link back to you. In addition, state why you are interested in this role, and in particular, why this role at Procter & Gamble. It is important to research the company. Look at the advert closely. Check out different social media platforms to get an overall understanding. So let's focus on the underlined words. For this company, is it they trusted brands or is it that they received an award for developing leaders? Could it be the training they provide for staff or that they hold their values and principles topmost? For you to answer these questions authentically, take time to reflect and evaluate what is important to you. In paragraph three, you need to showcase how you meet the requirements and have relevant skills and experience. Use this opportunity to elaborate on your targeted CV. Expand on relevant examples or evidence that demonstrates your suitability for this role. As an example, provide more insight into your skills, like complex problem solving skills if you feel this role will entail a lot of problem solving. The trick here is to show rather than tell the recruiter why you are the candidate for the role. Points to consider. Targeting application means presenting only relevant skills and activities to prospective employers. It is helpful to use the same words as the advert in your application. Targeting application takes a bit of time. It is well worth the effort though. You may be the perfect candidate but without targeting your application, you may not get shortlisted. Check out the rest of the Finding Work series, Presenting Your Skills, Maximizing LinkedIn, Preparing for Interviews. Please find the links mentioned in this presentation here. Finding Work series brought to you by UCT Careers Service.